Bling. Dave's gonna talk about squirrels at length. Squirrel! He held a squirrel once. He comes from Michigan. Dave has ferrets. He does not have squirrels. Cause ferrets are longer and squirrels are stronger. Uh, excuse me. Talking squirrels. Icelandic volcano. The world thinks laugh, 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 ha, 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 party, 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 laugh, 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 ha, 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 la, for source, source, sources. The world thinks laugh, 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 ha, 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 party, 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 laugh, 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 ha, 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 party, 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 party,
this production company made thousands of videos, but we're getting to like kind of the end of the list of the ones that I've watched. You know, I think we're kind of like I don't know how much longer this segment's going to go on. Like from our collection, but there's probably yeah. more out there. We keep stumbling across. Yeah, more. yeah. Well, occasionally we'll find them, and some just aren't worth showing, to be honest. But you know, like we're get so we're getting to the dregs of Scimitar's collection, is what I'm saying. Oh, and that's I, bad. Yeah, and that's bad. <laughs> So they're mostly special interest stuff. They did occasional movies. This is one about uh, caring for your pet bird. Hi, I'm Tim Colbert. And for the next 30 minutes, we're going Nick, to talk about health would you care. Trade, would you trade heads of hair? Um, With him or the parrot? <laughs> <laughs> I'd trade heads of feathers. Yeah, I would. Uh, Either one. Yeah, sure. I'd take that hair. It looks pretty would robust. You? Yeah. Same here. For really? your bird. I feel like the, the the bangs are too wispy. I feel like I feel like you already oh, have that. Them. You already have the wisps, the hair wisps. It looks um, like a thick wisp. Yeah, I think that they're, they're strongly thick rooted. Wisps, <laughs> pucker up those wisps. Home Video Library presents the Pet Care Series. Pet care for birds. A handy reference label has been included for you to log the sections of this program by your VCR's counter. Did it come up? Since they're so accustomed to human contact, yeah. some of them are kind of spoiled. This can lead to undesirable behavior like screaming when you're not paying attention to them. I like Help. a cage that has a grate on the bottom so that the droppings will fall through and the bird is not walking in the droppings. Now let's say a few words about purchase. By using the information... I just like that transition. Now let's say a few words about purchase, like <laughs> in a very serious way. Uh, could end that to the ending montage. We'll see. By using the information in this tape and your veterinarian's advice, your feathered friend will provide you many years of companionship and pleasure. <laughs> that, That's it. That soft turn to... Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, their signature is just always having a lot of the, the bad tracking. Through, oh uh, yeah, just because because of their EP, uh, their stance on EP. Um, yep. Yeah. They just always recorded, and it was only a half hour video. I mean, it felt longer when I watched it today, but um, yeah, it was a half hour tape. But uh, they still recorded it in the worst possible format. So bad tracking. We wouldn't what, expect anything less. Where do you guys stand on on owning a bird as a pet? Like I I I just always think it seems cruel, doesn't it? it? Is, it's, like, it's a terrible idea. I can tell you from experience. Uh, <laughs> by These the way, but, can fly, and you're cooping them up. Yeah, they, they can't fly. Well, what not only that, I got one. So when I was in um, college, I worked uh, at a summer camp. One of the other camp counselors convinced me to get a bird. He had a bird <laughs> as well, and so uh, yeah, I got a bird, but I only got one. And what they don't tell you is they can mate with you. Like they think you're its mate because if there's oh. no other birds, they're not experiencing any other birds. Birds, you so, say. Yeah, so like huh. the bird would just sit on my shoulder, and I had my college girlfriend would come by. It hated her. It would yell at her the entire time. It didn't want her anywhere near me. It was uh, crazy. Really? Yeah, oh. I, I had to give, give the bird away to another one of. Uh, <gasps> she must have been heartbroken. Yeah, the bird probably was. Yeah, I she had was... a, a crested canary with an ex that was like it looked like it was wearing a, a wig, like it looked like it had a Beatles mop top, and it was a little yellow canary but brown brown mop top. Uh, and it would just fly loose around the house. And I remember Joe one time, Albertino, was terrified when my uh, canary bort went, flew from one room to the other. She, she doesn't like unpredictable flyers. She doesn't even like butterflies. She's wow. like, yeah, if, if you're having a conversation with her and a butterfly's nearby, she's not paying attention to the conversation. She just has a, yeah. her eye on that butterfly. I understand it. I loved Bort the uh, canary. And he just flew loose throughout the house. You know, would go into his cage when he wanted to. But uh, there was bird crap uh, on shiny things all over my house <laughs> for about three Would you years. recommend getting a, a bird after having Bort for all those years? Well, no, I wouldn't. But uh, he was pretty cute, and I did go to a canary convention once. So, yep. <laughs> More details. We're just worried life. about this now. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. FBI warnings this week. Did yeah, I got you? one. Yeah, hold on. Here it is. I got uh, the uh, intro. <laughs> the coolest song it's such a genuinely cool song from an fbi warning yeah 
Yeah. Um, what's this FBI warning? I forgot what I. Oh, I. Okay. This is a surprise. We we've all seen this one, but this is a fantastic FBI warning. It kicks off a really boring video. Um, but uh, holler it out if you remember this FBI warning and what video it's what what it's warning you about. Maybe this should be the opening music. Is that better? No, oh, we want that badass good. song. We want the yeah. badass song. Yeah. yeah. Remember it? Yes. The league, the league uh, inst instructions. Was that close? All right. That'd be a great league. Uh, Good one. And then they really make you wait for it here. Oh. Yep. Okay. Nobody's gonna. Go away. Yep. Nobody's gonna fuck with that now that they have their FBI warning. On this week there, in rolling so. balls. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, segment. Yep. Um, shall we get into some cyber videos? You guys Before got some? Before we do that, I have a sellout. I know. I know oh, you got a sellout. Sellout, yeah, but uh, right. double, the, sellout. double this week. Yeah. So um, let me get this up here. AJ goes to the dog park. It's uh, you know, we have very talented Melindas, and one of our Melindas made a film, and I definitely want to everyone to support uh, them if we can. The premiere of uh, Toby's independent feature-length comedy movie about called AJ Goes to the Dog Park at the Fargo Film Festival is on Saturday, March 23rd at 3.30 p.m. at the Fargo Theater. This it's Saturday. This Saturday. It's an absurdist comedy filled with visual gags shot in Fargo, North Dakota. Um, and I went and Googled the uh, trailer. It seems like it's a lot of fun. It gets, once again, just... Uh, absurdist, it seems silly, a lot of visual gags, but I encourage everyone, a lot of us aren't on, aren't in Fargo, I've never even been to North Dakota, I don't think. Fargo's oh, you should. Fargo, Fargo yeah, is fantastic, and that I theater is great, too. Been to that. It's a historic theater, and uh, this is a great place but, for it to play. But for those of us who aren't going to be able to go to the, the film um, uh, festival, just go search um, AJ Goes to the Dog Park on YouTube and give it a view and give it a follow uh, and support the Melindas that support us. It looks cool. the the uh, The poster looks cool. I think it, it's uh, fun. It. Anything you know, it's like anything made with passion. It's like it's uh, it's ultra low budget, 100%. and I, I think that's the fun part about it. Is you know, it's super cool when somebody ha takes the time. And you know, feature length. I know how tough it is to make anything, much less a feature length movie. It's it's so much passion and and heart goes into it. So anybody who can help out, uh, please go give it a, a view and give it some likes. And if you are in North Dakota or anywhere around there that you think you can get there. Please go in and support Toby this uh, Saturday. Support the Melendez who support us. Please. Nice work, Toby. All yeah. right. Thanks for sponsoring the, the show. And now let's get into some cyber videos. I'll start off with a video that a couple of people sent me. One of them was Christopher and some other folks that was making the rounds. And this is from Joe. One of the first news magazines we were on was King TV in Seattle. Well, they sure. did this like night show that's really well produced and it was funny. And, you know, it was like a lot of local news since then has been just totally dreadful. But our first taste was pretty great. Uh, this show evening magazine on King TV. And uh, they did, they, they, recently posted a, a clip from the 90s from 1991 about modern slang and here it is and as if you've stayed up with the times you know that awesome or big time will get the point across as in that was an awesome evening segment i just saw well here are some other phrases you want to know if you want to be sure to sound hip in the 90s yo a greeting Hi. yo curb what's up clutch the pearls said in amazement or disbelief well, you know he's married. <gasps> Clutch the pearls! Bucked. In the 80s, it was just wasted. I don't know how many I had, but boy, did I get bucked. I sure felt it the next morning. That was really the worst thing I'd ever done. Well, I hope you didn't drive home. No way. MacGyver, as in the TV show where the impossible is often accomplished. I can't believe you got off that speeding ticket. What a MacGyver! Norville, to secretly undermine. What? I can't believe she saw your job. 
You... That was a story Deborah, Deborah Norville, Norville was took trying over to get... the Today Show from Jane Polly? Or... Yeah, I think so. so oh, okay. that's right. All right. Really, the Norville. Black and Decker, or a real tough assignment. You get the analogy, right? This job is a real grind. It's just a Black and Decker. Some Never phrases said. may be around forever. Well, look, I gotta run. Peace. Bye, Tom. One last word for words of the 90s. You gotta remember that hip slang changes rather quickly, so if you wanna use any of these phrases, you better use them in a hurry. I mean, think of Bart Simpson. Cowabunga is dreadfully out of date, horribly out of style, and you don't want to appear bizotic, do you? Bizotic. Bizotic? Uh, oh, yeah. I remember that one. I think the only ones I was familiar with was Yo and Peace, the uh, Hello and Goodbye. Um, well, I think all the other ones were made up. I think Steve and George have been trying to Norville us in this show for a long time. <laughs> and, but luckily, uh, we were too bucked to, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, to well, pull it off. You guys are too Black and Decker, I think is the problem. Well, yo. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Peace, everybody. What's uh, Steve, what do you have? Uh, I am... Um, sorry. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to uh, finish up on... Uh, the Vagina Monologues. I said I'd play the rest of it this week. I think Joe is going to like it. So for those of you guys who missed last week, I am the only male in HBO's presentation of the Vagina Monologues. And it's as awkward as you think. And for those of you that don't know, I grew up in a uh, – my mom is uber Catholic, goes to church every day Catholic. And uh, they decided to uh, put me in front of the camera. And they told me that they were going to do this and that I was going to be in front of the camera. And uh, you'll see the question she asks, and all I can think about is my religious mom goes to church every day watching this. So, did your uh, Did your mom watch it? Did she see it? She did, and I can't talk to her about it still to this day. What, I don't know she, if she saw it. She heard about it. Like my dad was like would tell people, and my mom was absolutely mortified. Um, what, yeah. Was it because of the frosted tips? Probably that was probably the main reason that you I had these frosted no, I tips. I, you know, like I, I can't remember one time my mom ever using the word vagina in front of me, <laughs> or talking about it, or anything to do with it. Like there was no, one time in I think I was a freshman in high school, maybe it was in eighth grade, and she walked in. There was a Bon Jovi video playing, and she the sex talk she gave me was, you know, that's just meant for married people, right? And she demanded me turn off the Bon Jovi video. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Bon Jovi is just oh. married. And yeah. you got married at like, how old were you when you got married? 40... I was forty. Yeah, forty. Okay, wow. no, 42, 42, 42, sorry. Forty-two. Okay, 42. so then you finally got to find find out what sex was. Yes, exactly. Bon Jovi right. was there, there is one more thing that you need to know for this clip is she refers to a Bob, and in her monologue, Bob was someone who likes going down on women and likes specifically looking at vaginas. Like that was like one of. His things, and uh, you know, watch the uh, entirety of it if you want to know what that. You're in this about, but clip. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you think your mom watched the whole thing, or do you think she no turned chance. it off after the? Oh, I don't really? think any. I like. I, I don't think. I, I know my dad didn't like. I think he told would tell people because I told him HBO and vagina laws. So he would be like, yeah, you know. Um, there's there's this thing called a bob. They're the types that really no, like he, he didn't, he didn't, First of all, we didn't even we we had owned no channels, anything like that. Like you know, there right. was there was no chance they were going to watch this ever. But all right, so let's your see some tips. Tips. Uh, yeah, this is awkward. So here we go. Amazing how many people complain that there are not enough monologues about heterosexual vagina loving men. We have ten minutes, Miss Ensler. There is a vagina loving man. Come in, Steve. This is the god. Right here, right here. Tell me, how, what do you learned about vaginas the last few days? Oh, my, I probably learned more in the last three days than my entire 24 years. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Specific? I basically, I thought I knew something and I knew nothing. That's <laughs> what it comes down to. <laughs> wait, 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 hit pause, hit pause. Yes. Was was that improvised or did they improvise? Yeah, she didn't tell me anything, and I, she didn't even let me off the hook. Like I thought, I gave a pretty good, just like specific. And even yep. then, you didn't really give her specific. Yeah. And so no there was no way I could. I would have to yeah. turn to the camera and say cut. Like there was no way right. I could tell her anything about. Yeah, I learned that some guys just like to look at it. You know, oh, they just <laughs> did. Did you flub back then, or or is flubbing like a, a recent thing? Uh, I think you, I flubbed. You... A lot less back then. There was certainly I've always flubbed through my entire life, but I flubbed <laughs> my, a lot less back then. You flubbed upwards, too. yeah, exactly. professionally. Yeah. <laughs> Most males, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. By the way, that is true. Words have never been spoken. Yeah. All right, here's the question. We're gonna get little buttons made that say "I'm your Bob." He's a Bob. I can tell. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think they that cut whole the, that dot shaker from the outside. Oh. And then this is the final. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, you're a big part of this. Yeah. I was the only male in it. Telling you. Yeah, that's it. So I see. Not your mom. Your mom didn't see that part. I, I think. don't think my mom okay. ever. You know, now that I've cut yeah. it down, maybe I'll send it to her. So she. <laughs> uh, Did she watch the after party? She. You know, my mom just broke her arm at church. She was going to like a church retreat and fell and broke her arm. She's fine now. Oh, no. But, uh, okay. Yeah. But I don't right. think she's, uh, yeah. She's but you didn't fall from hearing about that, right? <laughs> oh, no, thankfully, no. Okay, all right. Steve, in all seriousness, though, are you a Bob? Like, for, like being serious here. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to keep that. Oh, really? <laughs> you thought about it. <laughs> George, what do you, what do you have It means he is a Bob, see, right? See what I changed my name to on the uh, my screen name. <laughs> oh, let's take a look. <laughs> there it is. Oh, okay. yeah. a Bob. Yep. Was, yeah. You got you got a magnifying glass out, and it's very clinical. <laughs> very, yeah. No, lots of lighting. Okay. <laughs> what do you have for us? Oh, oh, well, uh, you know, we, my, Bob? my segment. Fashions. Fashions. <laughs> Fashions. Fashions. By Yorjo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love that. Yeah. That was great. All right. So I'm going to start this by saying that that there are like for any ob like any pop culture item object you can find a shirt of it on Redbubble, right? Mm -hmm. I found one thing that you can't and it's VCR related. Identified a substantial drill of possible forces right here in our own backyard. And I'm giving you the green light to clean them out. Gentlemen, you're the man. Get up there and prove it. Okay, boy. Let's kick some. Action Max, we're VCR. Yeah. If we're any more real, it wouldn't be a game. So I had it. It was terrible. I think I got it on sale for twenty dollars when it was going out. I think it started at ninety nine. It was it was awful. But I thought it would faded because it was so bad but i think maybe it was this tie-in um that... now bring the action home with the new action max game video system see how you can win one in a leonard part six action max sweepstakes display <laughs> where you buy coca-cola classic and spray uh, leonard part six doomed another thing oh we lost... oh, there oh we right so but uh so uh so i don't know so the action max logo is vcr related it's an easy logo it's not. It's not the best. It's not like a zany shirt, but it seems like something. Cool. It would fill a a, a niche for yeah. those people who wear obscure things. Oh, I think you'd sell thirty-seven of those. Yeah, that sounds yeah. enough to print them. Yeah, yeah. we'll do yeah. pre-orders. All right. Uh, I like. I like that. Uh, fashion by Giorgio. But your right. your your fashion line is expanding now, right? I mean, we oh have yeah. We're for sure, one new one to, a, a week, and uh, you know it's 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 going to take some time to get the the laborers in overseas who work for one get shirt. Sweatshop each And you want the cheapest of the sweatshop workers, right? You right, want right. like yeah, you yeah. So that's you know navigating that with different like dictators in other countries is not easy. <laughs> no, but no. But yeah, I'm zooming with them, and but we we are going to work on this fashion line. We are going to get this up and running on the store. Right, you suggested a, a good name. You suggested. I, I yeah, I texted Deathbed you Visions. today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking like uh, Deathbed Visions by George. Right, mm. by Giorgio. Too. But, yeah, yeah, but I, I I made that intro, so I you know it's I did that late. first. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, but we, we can have to both. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I I have uh. A cyber video here uh, that Tim sent me, and it's filth adjacent. That's why he sent it. It's filth ish. It seems filthier than it is. But let me just show you. There's this uh, plumbers. Well, let me just. This is a. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you the. Uh, this is their. Uh, some of the videos on there. Oh, those are the thumbnails for. No, the, I don't need a filth corner for this. It looks like it's going to be a filth corner. Um, but this, okay. th these are all the thumbnails that are. On the McLean brothers, they're a, a plumbing outfit. I don't know where they're from. Um, but what they do, you see on there, they have everybody's address on there of whose pipes they put the camera down. And 
then they they they'd reel them through and you could see your neighbor's pipes and there's one i'm going to show the most popular i'm going to show the second most popular then i'm going to show the least popular <laughs> at the end okay. okay so here first is the most popular drain that comes from 432 newton road <laughs> Pay them a you should, this would have been a great game show, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know. oh yes, I should have. Yes, your neighbor's pipes. <laughs> <laughs> but I still don't really understand why this one has 55,000 views. <laughs> other than, uh, the, my only thought is that it could be the mayor's house. I think people, people thought it was porn. I think. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> I still think it might be. I don't know what I'm looking at. No, well, um, yeah, it's filth adjacent. It's not pure filth because these are just pipes. All right. Um, here's 432 Newton Road. They don't have any audio, but watch this. There's one part, that part, oh, right there. See, that's why it got all the views. It's yeah, exactly. Jump scare. Do you, <laughs> do you think? <laughs> do you think? Uh, do you think other plumbers were like, "Oh, dude, you got to see this uh, 432 Absolutely. Newton Road." Here, let me email it to you. You got to see this. I gotta imagine that happens all the time. Yeah. My and then it comes one. then it comes out the pipe in this weird like split screen kind of a way. Did you see how that was like? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like a what are we? But um, all right, so <laughs> here we go. So that's yeah that that's where it, there's the hole that it came out of from four thirty two. This sixteen millimeter reel got stuck. I think that's what you uh, know when they were projecting that <laughs> right right projector error. Yeah. Um, all right. Next up, 313 Edgemore. It has 2,600 views, significantly less than 432 Newton Road. Um, but maybe you can see why this one has 2,600 views. Right here. I mean, does that look like. I mean, it's probably just like. What is it? It's, hair, it's like I a would bush. It's roots. Old. Oh, you it's think that's a plant? I thought it could have a plant growing into that pipe. Oh, like that oh that's what it is. Clogs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. With the, the rotor reader. It's the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> yep, but see, that was in their front yard. That pipe went down their front yard. Now, Yikes. here's the least popular one. This one is uh, 6301 Crittenden Road, this and it an only exclusive. had one view. Yeah. yeah, this is an exclusive. It only had one view. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, boring. Uh -oh. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> that's my... That's not a Sarlacc. <laughs> yep. Boba Fett in that one. So then the the only other video they have on there is their commercial. It's like a web commercial. It's not like they had it in the shorts, the YouTube shorts. Oh. And uh, clearly wasn't something for TV or anything. But uh, here's their commercial for, uh, yeah. Have you seen a plunger like that? No, no, I haven't either. Um, I... Tell me if this could be a toe tapping tonement contender. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Amazing. Oh, that's yeah. Just neck that's... of the woods. Yeah, so thanks uh, to Tim for that filth-adjacent uh, uh, YouTube channel. Um, as long as we're on filth, Steve, can you roll the filth corner, please? Oh, no. Please? Oh, yeah. no. What are we it, doing? Yeah. This is... Uh, we got to... <laughs> Wow, what are we? It stays um, up there for a while. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's about me. Uh, okay, Reese sent this in uh, a while ago, and I've been meaning to show it, but um, he got this VHS tape. Now, look at it. First of all, look how long this VHS hmm. tape is. Have you ever seen a VHS tape that long? We found a there's... hunting tape that had three in it, but not, uh, not since that. No. There's a human I... foot in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a little window. A window. Yeah, <laughs> yep. it must be legal size. Um, it's a fungal nail infection and its consequences video, and it actually it came with a video, but it also came with much more. So that's mm. the that's the tape, and I haven't asked. I want them to uh, send me a digitized version of it because I want to see what's on this. But here are the other contents of that long VHS cover: uh, a nail collection kit, 
Ooh, Good play. <laughs> nice drop, Steve. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Patient's name, the doctor, the type of specimen, fingernail, toenail, mm -hmm. uh, and then the week number. Um, I guess this is an ongoing process. Okay. Um, and then there's this. That's what you actually put the toenails in. And then this is how you do it. Like it comes with like a little uh, toothpick essentially, and you have to scrape off the de the debris from yeah. under the nail, and um, and then you put it into that little plastic case. And I guess you document it and you ship it, and yeah. So uh, I asked Reese if it came with any of the fingernails or if it came with mm -hmm. any of the uh, samples, and uh, he said it didn't. Unfortunately, it was a brand new ah. tape. So yep. So that's a. Yep. So thank you, Reese, for uh, sending that. Um, I want that in our collection, a tape that tall yeah, and um, nice. looks great an in our full section. Yeah. All right. That's Cyber Videos. We have an outro now. Oh, yeah. Steve, you this got the... Uh... We're on a UK tour in April, and we're going to see Bob from Hull there. And Bob is uh, giving us our outro for this week, correct? He uh, His Fairlax commercial? Yeah, well, he he played the one last week, and I was just like, I need some more Bob from Hall stuff. So I went looking. He sent us so much good stuff over the years, yeah. And uh, most of it we just played on, you know, one time on one episode, and uh, didn't get enough love. So uh, he uh, he made a song for you. Remember Ferret Lax? Um, mm -hmm. Remember we? I think we had a punishment <laughs> where we'd have to eat the Ferret Lax. Yeah. And then I called up the people at Marshall's Ferret Lax and um, became friends with them. I gotta get back in touch with them, but uh, so yeah, it's been too long. <laughs> so, but so what I wanted to do is make a commercial for them, and I don't think I ever even presented it to them, or maybe oh. I emailed it to them and I just didn't hear back. That's you. That's usually how it goes. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, here's uh, Bob from Hull's Ferret Lax commercial, um, and uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll re-email it to them okay, and uh, my... see if they. See if they. Um, my outro of and... uh, my outro salutation uh, for this show is going to be now. Let's say a few words about purchase. Okay, I'm going to say uh, thank you very much for being here, and God bless you very much. Steve, George, he's a Bob. <laughs> and Hello. Bob. Hello, all you beautiful slices. Wait, Steve, do you have a uh, outro for your uh, your sellout? Uh, yes, it's uh, go check out AJ goes to the dog park Saturday, March 23rd, 3 30 p.m. at the Fargo Theater. I'm just I'm just trying to prolong this so that uh, Nick uh, Nick starts Passions. dozing off before our very lives. I didn't even oh, touch that's not it. <laughs> no, what is it. No, it's right here. Hold on, let me do it. Here it is. All right, that's all. That's it. Must have for all owners. Molasses, mall extracts, and its artificial flavors. Your ferret lacks senses from Denise and Lynn. Don't leave your ferret suffering, so always begin with the best herbal obstruction remedy. Marshall's ferret lacks will help the bastard smile. Caring for your ferret since 1939. Well, that's what I'm having. Ribs. Mama, I want to eat cookie crisp. Dumber or just fatter?